Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. How are you and yours all doing? I trust God that it is well with you all and your families. What we have to discuss is five principles for a happy life. Principles are truths and statements that expresses your personal ideals and values. These principles lay the foundation of direction and choices you make in life. It helps you with decision making, knowing what is right or wrong. There are many and different types of uh, principles. It could be cultural, guiding principles, faith principles, successful life principles, etc. But these five principles we want to talk about today is more general, especially if you want to live a happy and successful life. For my returning subscribers, I say thank you and please like the video if you have not uh, subscribed before, please do. Give it a thumbs up, click on the notification uh, button for you to be notified of uh, new videos that I post. And also share, please share. God bless you as you do this. Thank you so much because you're gonna be helping the uh, video to, to grow. Also, and I would also like you to comment below on which of the principles has worked for you in life and why for other people to learn uh, from a principle number one is gratitude we can as well say appreciation gratitude is very important in life being grateful for little and big things gratitude to God and to people in your relationships, in your workplace, in your businesses, in your interaction with people on every day-to-day -day, uh, life, showing appreciation in gifts, words, and deeds. Studies have shown that gratitude gives a mental balance, stability to your, to your system, to your body. Don't forget we are human beings that are made up of body, spirit, and soul. As you feed your physical body with food, so also you need to feed your spirit with gratitude. I talked more about this in my first video, Spirit of Thanksgiving. I will put a link in my description below for you if you have not watched it before. For you to go ahead and uh, watch Spirit of Thanksgiving, very, you know, very educating, and you know, you would appreciate it. Then our second principle is honesty. Honesty is also truthfulness, not lying or stealing. It is a moral character that should be imbibed by all. Honesty is the foundation of trust. Ephesians 4, 25 states, Therefore, having put away falsehood, let each one of us speak the truth with his neighbor. Even God hates a liar. Proverbs 22, I'm sorry, Proverbs 12, 22. The Lord detests lying lips, but he delights. In people who are trustworthy when you are honest you are trustworthy people can do business with you when you tell anybody anything today tomorrow let it still be the same let your word be your bond so honesty it's very it's very important in life if you want to go far so that people will not uh, will not uh, dislike you that oh that person is not an honest person I can't deal with him or her that wouldn't be a good 
uh, statement to make of anybody. Then the next uh, next principle is love. We cannot overemphasize love enough. Love your neighbor as yourself. You first love yourself and you love others as yourself. Treat others the way you will want to be treated. Love is patient and kind. When you love someone, you are kind to the person. You are ready to help when you can. You will not backbite, not envious or jealous, and you will not hate or do any evil to the person, even though the person might have hurt you. So, that brings, brings us to the next principle, number four, which is forgiveness. Forgiveness is a conscious, deliberate decision to release feelings of resentment or vengeance towards a person or group. I'll say it again. Forgiveness is a conscious, deliberate decision to release feelings of resentment or vengeance towards a person or group who has harmed you regardless of whether they actually deserve the forgiveness. They might, they, they might not deserve it because they've done so much to so much hurt to you, but you still uh, forgive. Always leave vengeance for God. Let God deal with it. But you 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 forgive for your own sanctity. By forgiving, you are not giving in, but letting go of that hurtful emotions so that you are not bitter, your it doesn't raise your blood pressure when you think about it. For your health sake. Having the spirit of forgiveness is for the benefit of our emotional and mental health. As a man or woman of faith, this is very important to God, your creator. God forgave us our own sins. We too, we were sinners. We did a lot of havoc before we, 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 we became saved. So since God forgave our own sins, he will also want you to forgive others throughout your lifetime. In the Bible, it says, somebody asked, how many times should I forgive? And they said, 70 times. So that's one around 90 times. So it is not that easy to forgive. But time heals. And that doesn't mean you will still be a close friend to the person. But you just try to remove the grudge from your mind. And you can become uh, platonic friends if you desire. But don't hold the person anymore in your mind. That is forgiveness. But if the offense was not too grievous and apologies were exchanged, then the relationship could still be restored. It depends on the individual. So it, that's why it's important, you know, just forgive, let go. Let go, let God deal with the, you know, deal with whatever consequences that the person deserves. Just let go so that you can have peace of mind and have rest. When you, you can sleep at night and wake up and you are healthy, your spirit is healthy. The f so, the fifth principle is uh, positive thinking. Positive thinker sees the invisible, feels the intangible, and achieves the impossible. And this is by a quote by Winston Churchill. Don't be fearful about the future or worrying about what you cannot control. But if you do not like what you can control, you have the power to make changes. Hope for a better tomorrow as you go about your life the right way. Positive thinking is related to what the scriptures call faith. In a simple thing, faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. You do not see obstacles and you are sure of whatever you are inspiring for you will achieve. If you are a positive thinker, it is more likely that you take more calculated risks and normally will be successful in life with God on our side. If we allow these five principles to be our bedrock with God on our side, we will 
we got on our side and prayerfully we shall succeed so i hope you are going to get these five principles to be your bedrock on your choices every day and as you do that your life is a success by the grace of god thank you all for viewing and if you have enjoyed this video please comment share like and subscribe if you have not already done so bye and have a wonderful week ahead love from grandma Esau. hey papa <laughs>